Okay, real quick video on the ultimate computer cleaning kit and uh, how I clean computers. Uh, what you're going to need, a mild uh, soapy solution. This is mainly water with a few drops of uh, a product called Basic H. <clears throat> but any mild soap will do. Just make sure it's not too soapy. Uh, this is used to break apart any uh, biomaterial that is stuck on keys and that kind of stuff. So this is kind of a step one process. Isopropyl alcohol, mineral spirits will get glue and other stickers and that kind of stuff off of the off of the case. <clears throat> uh, paper towel, razor blade. This is for peeling, helping to peel stickers off. Two microfiber cloths. I use one for the for the soap solution and, and one for the alcohol solution. And we use uh, the paper towel for the mineral spirits. Okay, so uh, and rubber gloves come in handy too, especially for the the really nasty ones. Um, okay, I've got four. So we're gonna set these aside. I've got four laptops. I need to clean up. And so we're going to check out the first one. It's a Lenovo. It's got some nasty smears on it. Not, not too bad. I've seen worse. And then you can just see like this this film down here. This is just skin basically, and it looks like um, the label was removed by this user. Uh, but you got the kind of a dirty screen, and the back looks okay. That's a think, another ThinkPad here. This one's not too bad. We're gonna we're gonna take these labels off. Gonna clean this up. Keyboard doesn't look too bad. What's interesting is when you get to the point where you're where you've cleaned it or you think you've cleaned it. Now oh, this one's a little nasty. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Nice and greasy. And then this one, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, but you get into the keyboard and you get some nastiness in here. Kind of hard to show it on the screen. Okay, so I was trying to pick the nastiest laptop that I have here. They're 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 all pretty okay. We'll use this one. Maybe we'll show you how to clean this. This monitor is pretty bad. It must must have been touched a lot for some reason. Although when you close these laptops, they pick up the, the keyboard. You know, your hands secrete oils all the time. So, you know, you, a lot of times you probably notice as you pick it up. And this, this particular model, this HP model, this is an elite book, HP elite book. They have this thing where this little mouse uh, button here leaves an indent on the screen. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it, it leaves kind of a permanent mark that you can't really clear it is. You can't really clean off, so that's unfortunate. But um, yeah, we'll we'll use this as an example. Okay, so what I usually do is, if the laptop has stickers on it that need to come off, or um, residue where you can tell someone put a sticker on it and removed it before they returned it, um, what you want to do is you want to get mineral spirits out because um, most residues, you know. You might be able to get it with your soap, but honestly, the quickest way to do it is with mineral spirits, because most adhesives are um, are pretty tough to get off, and they get gummy and that kind of stuff. The mineral spirits does a good job of dissolving the, the actual glue. Now, it has an odor, um, but it's it's not it's not too bad as long as you just use a dab of it. So you're not using a whole bunch. You dab it onto the paper towel. Always use a paper towel. And then uh, circular motions like this. So you're just kind of going over the over the area that has the, the adhesive on it. And you know, I usually start it in a circular motion, and then if you need to, go back and forth. Um, and actually, okay, so you can see uh, all the glue residue is coming off onto the onto this um, paper towel. So I'm gonna flip it over. And uh, actually, the mineral spirits does a good job of getting funk off as well. So, um, if you see some spots that are obviously going to 
be a little harder to get off the paper towel with the mineral spirits to kind of as a sort of a pre-cleaner to the um, to the soap okay all right so there we go that residue is pretty much it's gone pretty much a little bit of a mark from the sticker that was on there but um, we will uh, We'll get that out later. Okay, so we'll throw that uh, paper towel out. Done with that. Step two is our soap treatment. Just spray on the towel. Just kind of circular motions are good to start with. And then if you have something that um, is a little tougher, like a streak of something and you know back and forth like this works pretty good all right that's the top let's do this monitor i'll show you here this little mark Going gently i usually support it with my back hand here wherever i'm rubbing in the circular motion. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda get a good, this one has a, like a, a camera cover, gives you a false sense of privacy, but I guess it works somewhat, but then they have these two light sensors on the, on the side here. Okay, so that's pretty good for that monitor. And once that dries, I'll show you that little mark that was left by the mouse pointer thing. Okay, now we'll do the keyboard. This keyboard's relatively good. Again, you're going to want to kind of go all around the laptop, get in the crevices, switch out for the power button. I mean, if you hit it, no big deal. You just got to shut it down again. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this particular step while the machine is running. Um, just because you could hit a particular combination of keys that cause a lot of problems. So but we're just going to kind of go back and forth on the keyboard, pressing down, you know, firmly, but not very hard. You, you want to be a little bit gentle, but, but not too gentle because you want to be able to get the, the space in between the keys because that's where a lot of the residue will reside um, you know the material from uh, all sorts of uh, human activity that we are all familiar with um, okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna get the mouse pad nice and consistently here back and forth just rub it in circular motions <clears throat> okay Ooh, now that's nasty the back is pretty bad so we'll get that now um, you, you know you can <clears throat> depending on how dirty it is you just want to pay attention to your rag if it's you know if one side starting to get nasty flip it around oh, wow Okay, this bottom is going to need a little bit of extra elbow grease here. This is an aluminum case, so it it can attract over time quite a bit of dirt um, in all the little micro crevices. Scratches pretty easily. Nice hair there. All right. Now, since we have it closed and upside down, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on it. And tapping on it, what that does is it loosens anything in the keyboard. Now, you could take a little vacuum. I don't, a vacuum will work. Um, it's better to blow this stuff out, though. Um, some of these keyboards, however, are so tight, there's not a lot of space in between the keys and the, and the, the rest of the board. So, 
doing this tapping thing actually does a pretty good job of loosening crumbs and hair and whatever else is stuck underneath. And if you if you kind of angle it and then tap, angle it back and tap the other way, it does a pretty good job of getting all the little the crumbs out. So let's see how we did here. Okay. Um, so a little bit, not too much. See some there. But this keyboard I think is, is, is pretty clean actually. Okay, so we'll just wipe the screen off after we do that. All right, now, so we did our um, we did our mineral spirits first to get the glue residue off. Then we did a soapy clean, the soap step. Now we're going to do the alcohol step, and the alcohol step should expose. Well, it does a couple things. It it ex it disinfects, which is very important if you're going to send a laptop back out, or if you're just cleaning your own laptop, and you know you want to be somewhat sanitary. <clears throat> but if you definitely, if you're sending it out to another user, um, you're going to want to make sure that it's disinfected. And alcohol uh, is the best in this case because it dries right away. It's not going to get the, you know, it's not going to stay wet, evaporates, disinfects. Uh, and it dries out any um, biomaterials so that you can see if you still need to go back over a particular area with soap again to get the, the remaining layers of uh, humanity off of the laptop. Okay. So just start at the top again. Go to the monitor. The nice thing about the alcohol too is it does a pretty good job of getting rid of any remaining streaks like soap residue or anything that was left on the screen. And uh, you know anything that's that's remaining was typically going to be like a scratch or a pit in the actual screen itself. So not much you can do about that other than replacing the monitor or the screen. The monitor, the screen. Okay. So, once that dries there, so we got some streaks. Let it leave streaks on it. So, we we'll find a dry section. Now, we'll remove the remaining streaks. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> And then uh, finally, we'll get to the keyboard here. It's got a good amount of alcohol in this rag, so get in those crevices. All right. <clears throat> now, just kind of go over the, the keyboard, look a little closer at the keys, and then the space around them, make sure there isn't any yellow chunks or little bumps of something because you send that out to a new user and <laughs> I'm, I don't know about that I certainly wouldn't appreciate receiving a laptop starting a new job that had a bunch of uh, nasty remnants of its predecessor predecessor user so um, yeah all right back looks good I don't you know, do a little rub there to disinfect. <clears throat> Man, brand new laptop. Look at that. Whew. Squeaky clean. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Love your feedback. Um, anything you do to clean your, your machines, but you know. As a general rule, I do this to my keyboard after a couple of months. You know, I eat eat in front of my computer quite a bit just because I'm busy. And, you know, it's a good idea to do kind of a similar process on any of your keyboards or your mouse um, or your laptop if you've got one. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye.